Well, welcome to week 10 of our series called God. Know Him, love Him, and show Him. We've been studying the names of God, the characteristics of God. And today here in week 10, we're going to be talking about Jehovah M. Kadesh. And what Jehovah M. Kadesh means is the Lord who sanctifies or the Lord who sets us apart or the Lord who makes us holy. And we're actually introduced to this concept in Exodus chapter 31 verse 12. So Moses is up on Mount Sinai. He's getting these these laws, these rules, these ways that God is giving him. And he gives them these laws to teach them how to be set apart, set apart for God. And here in verse 12, we read this. Then the Lord said to Moses, say to the Israelites, you must observe my Sabbaths. This will be a sign between me and you for the generations to come. So you may know that I am the Lord. I am Jehovah. I am Yahweh. Who makes you holy? God, Yahweh, makes you holy. And this is the last thing that God commands Moses before he sends Moses down with the Ten Commandments and the two clay tablets. And it's interesting because if you cross-reference this word holy all the way back to the book of Genesis in the creation story, you get to this, this verse in chapter 2. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because he rested from all the work and all the creating that he had done. This is the same word that Moses uses here when he was recording what God was telling him about the beginning of our existence. But God made the Sabbath day holy and in the context of the original way God said that he makes us holy is he is giving us a day out of our week. We would call it our Sabbath day, our seventh day. It used to be Saturday, but when Jesus rose, it became Sunday because we gather together to celebrate together, to stop work together and acknowledge God's presence in our life and who he is. So we do that on Sundays now because of the resurrection. So hopefully you have a Sabbath day or a rest day where you don't worry about work. Trust me, I know it's hard not to be involved in work every day. I mean, we are here in America. And so we work, we work, we work, we work. But God is saying, no, a piece of being holy and to be set apart as my children for you, have a Sabbath, have a day of rest where you don't work, but your thoughts can be recalibrated to me. But I wanna to talk to you more so about this word hypocrisy. Now hypocrisy, being a hypocrite, has a negative connotation today, but in the original context, what hypocrite means, it actually was a good thing. And it just described the actor's work in Hollywood of where they would play one part, even back in Shakespeare, you play one part, but out of that, when you're not playing the part, you're someone else. So Jason Statham, while he's a killing machine on screen, he's not that way off screen. That's where actually the word hypocrite came from. But now, maybe some of you watching, you don't attend church because of all the hypocrites in church. And I actually heard this saying, and I really like it a lot. Some of the greatest actors are not found in Hollywood. They're found in the church. How terrible is that? And the reason is because of this. We can be saved, but not sanctified. We can be saved, but not sanctified. And while our bottom line this week says salvation gets you out of the world while sanctification gets the world out of you, some of us feel like sanctification, salvation, that is just our ticket to heaven. And may, yeah, that's what salvation does. But sanctification is different. And when you have saved people who are not sanctified people, you get this hypocrite mentality that people have when they see the church not being the church, when they see believers not being set apart, when they're seeing believers not different in the way they're acting. I wanna give a little difference now to end our time together between what salvation is 
and what sanctification is and the importance as believers, as Christians, we are set apart. See, salvation occurs instantly, that moment you believe. But sanctification occurs gradually. And in the Wesleyan Church, we like to call that progressive sanctification, where the work of the Holy Spirit is teaching us each and every day of the sins that we're committing and how we need to ask forgiveness for those sins. Salvation requires faith and faith alone. But sanctification requires an everyday obedience and sacrifice. See, salvation removes the penalty of sin. It's great. Sanctification resists the desire to sin. See, salvation is God's desire for all. He desires all of us to be saved because he wants to spend eternity with all of us. Sanctification is God's command for all believers. If you're a believer, you're sanctified. You're a believer, you're set apart. Salvation gets you out of the world. Sanctification gets the world out of you. I love that bottom line. And while salvation may be one of the benefits is our ticket to eternal life, and that's great, but God commands us to be holy. Jesus even says it, be holy as I am holy. Be sanctified as I am sanctified. Be set apart as I am set apart. But you only can do that if you have the Holy Spirit guiding you. See, salvation changes your eternity, true. Sanctification changes your character. Salvation changes your eternity. Sanctification changes your character. So how are you being sanctified? What does your holiness look like? Are you in tune with the Holy Spirit and what he's telling you? Because if God commands us, commanded the original Israelites to be holy, if Jesus in the New Testament and Peter in the New Testament command us to be holy, even King David commands us to be holy as God is holy. You may be saved, but are you sanctified? Are you set apart? Are you different? Are people seeing the difference that God has made and is making in you as you are gradually, continually growing in your relationship with Christ? It's a command from God to who he is. He's our Jehovah and Kadesh, the one who sanctifies, the one who sets apart. So are you set apart? for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Go have a good day.